Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's go funny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys do, we really do um, genuinely um, appreciate. Uh, please give me stuff to react to. I will be more than to, I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. And check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We go by Funny and Jesse. Check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm actually going to be reacting to Ami did that lecture Christ in Islam question answers. Um C D01. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Use of that term for Abraham. Moses is an interlocutor with God, one who spoke with God. Didn't Jesus speak with God? Didn't Muhammad speak with God? But we use that term exclusively for Moses, that he spoke with God, though all prophets spoke to him. Likewise, this word Messiah, every prophet of God is a Messiah. He's anointed, appointed, consecrated. But we use this term exclusively for Jesus. I don't see anywhere where this man says, I'm God, or where he says, worship me. This is what I want. Thank you, Mr. Didat. The next speaker, the next question is... No, praise God. Uh, can I say salam? Peace be unto you all. Thank you. Um, it is true, we've heard good words tonight. We've heard about the birth of the Lord. It has been acknowledged as being miraculous. We've heard of his works. Uh, I dispute the fact that a babe spake miraculously to save God his mother because God was with her as well as with the child. We find that according to Eastern chronology, people from the East came to see if we don't believe in our history where children were slaughtered by Herod so that this man child that was born to be king could have been slaughtered Yet we find that Eastern people, who were clever in their days, as are today, acknowledge the fact, where is he who was born to be king of the Jews? Mr. Diat, in the Quran, you have spoken to us a bit tonight about the birth, the conception, the life, his works, but you didn't touch on the crucifixion. You have glossed over it, you've spoken and mentioned it, but you didn't come to the point. Now in the Quran, the Quran says there by Abdul Yusuf Ali, he says there in the commentary of the Quran to safeguard the Jews because one is born of the bond and one is born of the free, one of Ishmael, one of Hagar, one of Isaac. God has blessed both. But being a brothers in that degree the Quran says we don't want to put a stigma upon the Jews so we will say that instead of Christ being crucified they took another person they hid the Lord they hid the anointed was he anointed for nothing did he have no powers to go forth unto even unto death that the the Jews now uh, or whoever it was the Romans or whoever that uh, the Quran must now say no we'll hide this man now we don't want a stigma to put on the Jews and somebody else was handed over to be crucified God does not lie does Muhammad lie is the commentator a liar God is not a man that he should repent neither the son of man that he should repent he cannot lie so why does the Quran now twist that concerning the crucifixion of Christ you believe in the prophets you believe in the Psalms you believe in the Torah and they all speak of the crucifixion of this one they all Isaiah he was marred like no man was marred we turned our faces away from him we did we despised him we all but he still fulfilled the work of God Thomas said my Lord and my God why does the Quran deny to the facts of the crucifixion of Christ. Thank you. I think that question is valid. Mr. Didat should answer that. Thank you. The question, in case you haven't heard it clear enough, coming succinctly to this, that why does the Quran deny the crucifixion? When 
as our brother says, that the whole Bible speaks about it. Now, this subject of crucifixion, I have dealt with here from this very platform. Under the heading, Was Christ Crucified? You remember Brother Spade? Now, here is a witness here, one of our brethren. He will be able to confirm that that subject also takes about an hour. Not necessarily. That subject takes an hour to not expound. Not necessarily. I can make, I can make sweeping generalizations to say, I say, we believe that Christ was not killed nor was he crucified. And I quote you a verse from the Quran, Wama kataluhu, wama salabuhu. They didn't kill him and they didn't crucify him. Right. But now that doesn't prove anything. For the Muslims, it is proof enough. You see that his Lord says that Christ was not killed and he wasn't crucified. But for you now, you have a record. You say Matthew, Mark, Luke, John and the scriptures as a whole. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the whole Bible. What does the Quran say? Yeah, what does it say? Yeah, yeah what does it say? Yes. From your Bible. No, no, look. He, I, I made reference to you. In this booklet, you acknowledge Muhammad died and his grave is with us. Moses died, his grave is with us. Jesus died and is in heaven. I didn't, that words are not there. In this book. You, you sit down and you, 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 no, 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 look. No, no, you see, this is a false allegation made against me. The steps is here. You sit down there where I say that Jesus, where I say Jesus died. Please find that. In, in the meantime, give somebody else a chance. What? Brother, give somebody else a chance while you find, where I say that Jesus died. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Questioner. Thank you, Mr. Questioner. Thank you, sir. The next question, please. Next question, please. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Didat, I really appreciate your presence with us this afternoon. Uh, what I would like to stress to you is that earlier on you have mentioned uh, that Melchizedek in the Old Testament had a beginning and the ending like the way the book of Hebrews has been written. And I do appreciate you telling us that uh, Jesus also had a beginning and he also had an ending. But nowhere in the Bible is being mentioned him saying that he is God or Almighty. I would point out to you a scripture in the very last book of the, uh, of the Bible, which is Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. He says that I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, say the, say the Lord Almighty. Thank you, Mr. Rez. Thank you very much. There is no question there. Eh? The, I said and I repeat that nowhere in the Bible Jesus Christ says I am God or where he says worship me. Our brother has given a quotation from the book of Revelation. That is the last book of the New Testament. The title of the book is the book of Revelation. What is this book all about? It is about a dream. This was a dream. While Jesus walked this earth, according to the canonical gospels, not one statement he made, I am Alpha and I am Omega. Nowhere. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts. Nowhere. This is the last book of the New Testament, which was a dream that John had, or whoever he was, he had a dream. And in that dream, if I read it to you, you know, about an animal having seven horns and seven horns with seven eyes. And you know, this is a man who is dreaming. Usually a man when he eats too much, he has dreams like that. <laughs> you see, this is the human mind. You see how it works. Look, the psychologist will tell you that the human mind is divided into different compartments. We have certain portions of our brain which does, deals with vision, 
when it gets damaged, your vision is affected certain portion, your hearing is affected certain portion, your speech is affected certain portions, your imagination is affected. These are different portions in the brain doing different functions, performing different functions. In our dreams, every portion is independent. While we are here, while we are consciously awake, there are things that we want to do and we want to say, but we are thinking, what will people think? This is human beings. We are thinking, say, what will this man think of me? I want to shout. They say, what will people say? This guy has gone hot under the collar. So you see, so many factors. The reasoning faculty is controlling your emotions, controlling every other function. But in your dream, my dream, anybody's dream, everybody's dream. In our dreams, our imagination runs riot. You know, there are things that you do in your dream, which you'll never imagine doing it in your waking life. Your waking moment. Another interesting video that I'm reacting to today. This point, I feel like others don't actually want answers. I always wonder, even when I'm having a conversation with my friends, not just this video, you know, if you ask someone a question, then give them time to speak because he gave you time to say whatever you wanted to say. Why can't you give him time to speak? Just give someone the opportunity to explain something to you, even if they're starting with a story that's a hundred years old until they reach that point give them the platform to respond don't just go there to try to prove a point that you're wrong yes you can prove a point that someone is wrong or correct them whatever the, your intentions are but give them the chance to talk so that you can have a better understanding of where they're coming from and you understand why they're reasoning the way they're reasoning uh, concerning the issue of Jesus saying I am God um, if it's not mentioned anywhere in the Bible I always say then don't force it upon him it's like um, Muslims say Jesus was a Muslim but where did he claim he was a Muslim uh, Christians call themselves Christians but where in the Bible did Jesus call his followers Christians you know these are certain things that we have to ask ourselves and of course the christians have got their own explanation the muslims have their own explanation of explaining as to why both parties think like this why they're thinking the way they're thinking should you take it up to you you can come up with with your own answer or go with the answers of these respective uh religious groups you know and whatever you are comfortable with you take whatever that you are comfortable with you take so that you come up with your own thing that you feel like this is more a more standard and more convincing answer so yeah that's that let me know what you guys think about this video what are your thoughts what you have to say about the questions asked if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below just drop me the name or the link and i'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.